Hello Panthers, I'm Gabe Schmidt, Principal of Cimarron Middle School. Today we will be recognizing our young scholars who achieved the highest academic standards. Today's presentation indicates the continued emphasis on excellence that they represent for our school and community. In addition to strong academic records, which establish the eligibility for recognition, these young scholars are leaders in many student organizations and have served the school and community in many diverse activities. Each one possessed the qualities of scholarship, service, leadership, character, and citizenship, about which we will now learn more. The candle of scholarship represents the power of the mind to dispel ignorance and superstition through the investigation of truth. The candle of leadership represents the power of personality that enables a person to lead others and that blazes the trail of man's upward climb. The candle of character represents the real essence of existence or what a person is when he is alone with his thoughts. The candle of service represents the beginning and end of our education, the greatest purpose there is, aiding someone else. No truer words than these were ever spoken. He would be greatest among you must be a servant of all. The candle of citizenship represents the ideal balance of the other four. A person with too much of any virtue cannot truly call himself well-rounded and therefore would not make a good honor society member. Knowing that we have been chosen to represent our school on the basis of scholarship, character, citizenship, leadership, and service, we will do our best to hold the torch of honor high so its flame will continue to burn brightly. With pride in our hearts, we say the solemn promise of honor. Hello, I am Olivia Sandvik. Today, I have the honor to recognize the parents at Cimarron Middle School. When thinking about parents, I can't help but think of many ways parents help us meet our needs. An easy way to describe this is a toolbox. Parents of a middle schooler have to have many different ways and ideas to give us the proper tools at the proper times. Some parents are like hammers, where they set firm standards for their children, while others are like sandpaper, where they gently shape and smooth the rough edges. Then you have the parents who are levels. They help balance their children's skills and tasks on a standard they want to achieve. Lastly, you have the parents who are like glue. They pick up, put back together, and mend broken pieces of a child. For me, my mom is like a paintbrush. She helped me paint a picture of an idea of where to begin this speech. I'm proud to say that many Cimarron parents use many of these tools because they know exactly what their child needs. The best part about the entire thing is that most parents guide us with more than one of these techniques. So I just want to say thank you to all the parents for helping us in all kinds of ways. My name is Megan Edwards. I am very pleased to be talking about our school's amazing staff. The teachers and counselors are just a small piece of what makes this school significant. Let me tell you why. Back when I was in sixth grade, I had brought a baked potato to lunch and decided to heat it up. Here's the catch though. My mom always puts them in the oven wrapped in aluminum foil and I decided that it would be okay to just slip that into the microwave without taking it off. So of course, I turned back and started talking to my friends when all of a sudden, they started looking behind me weirdly. I spun around to see the inside of the microwave was on fire. My friend Olivia and I rushed to the microwave and in a move of brilliance, she pushed the off button. And of course, I was upset, so the teachers in my grade came over and were very nice and caring to me as we called the staff. There was still a problem though. In seeing both me and Olivia over there, everyone had assumed it was Olivia who put the baked potato in there and not me. The whole day, people were saying things like, thanks for burning down the microwave, Olivia. To this day, people still think she did it. But my point was that when I was super down and sad about making a mistake, it was the teachers who pumped me up and told me it was okay. Everyone at this school knows that the teachers are usually the ones who bring fun to the classes. 
They're the heart of education, and I know a lot of people who would jump at that chance to thank them for their hard work and dedication. I believe that the teachers were very helpful to my learning experience and in helping me understand my hobbies, as well as what I want to do with my life. The counselors at this school are very helpful and caring. They don't teach classes or help us to learn geometry, but they are always there if we, need, if we are in bad situations or just need to talk. I know when I need help on enrollment in my future, I went straight to Ms. McElveen for advice. Thank you to all of our counselors for helping us to see our goals in life and help us to make plans to achieve them. Also, for watching over us mentally and emotionally as we have grown up and faced the world. Thank you teachers and counselors for helping me and every student here to get through the middle school so that we would all be prepared for high school and college. We truly acknowledge all you do here and thank you for your diligence and much patience as you teach us everything we need to learn and more. Hello, I'm Adam Garnan and this is to my fellow classmates. What a last year it has been for us, finishing the last nine weeks off of seventh grade year completely online, which has never happened in the history of online schooling. And then the first 27 weeks of our last middle school year with an unprecedented AB schedule. We did not know who was on the other half of class or who else we had on our lunch schedule. So we made new friends along the way and we always helped each other out. Day after day, we either logged in our home or made our way to school. We had to adjust learning without in-person teacher but we made managed to preserve and still get our work done efficiently. Along the way, we picked up new tips and tricks and developed new strategies. This new schedule also made it hard to stay connected personally, but I believe we have overcame this by taking advantage of modern technology through cell phones, apps, online gaming, and Zoom calls. Simron students have been very understanding of the new changes with our school. This year, we were unable to have some events we used to have like the dodgeball tournament, Golden Paw, and other activities that were canceled due to COVID-19. Yet our father's students remained forbearing. We helped follow the rules and set an example for the younger students so that we could go to school and make things as normal as possible while still being safe. We have all grown and changed into better people through Cimarron. It is through the compassion and determination that each student has here has helped us to raise a friend up if we're ever needing help or if they were low. Everyone has been so kind, respectful, and hardworking at Cimarron. We have almost made it through all of middle school, so let's finish these final weeks off strong. Our class has been flexible, resilient, and ready to take on any challenges thrown our way. Finally, I would like to say thank you to all my fellow students. Hello Panther Scholars, the Edmond Middle School Honor Society is a select group composed of 7th and 8th grade young scholars throughout Cimarron Middle School. The Honor Society wants each candidate to demonstrate the four pillars which include character, leadership, scholarship, and service. The new year has caused us to be very innovative when planning the 2021 ceremony. It's a positive through this. Due to the continuous need for innovation this year in, in ways we never even thought possible a year ago these ideas that are put in place can be used in, in the future. Even though our Middle School Honor Society ceremony is different this year, more students were involved behind the scenes, working relentlessly with teachers to achieve the best possible outcome. Over the last year, you qualified for Honor Society with a 4.0 GPA this last year in the midst of the pandemic. A big thank you to yourselves and your family to support your work. It's important to understand that it took more effort than usual. This honor is more than about academic success. It's also about service. Are you someone giving back to your community and contributing? It's about character. Are you trustworthy? Each day, choose to live our lives in a way that reflects our core values and who we desire to become. We talk often about Panther pride, being positive, having respect, showing integrity, being diligent, and having empathy challenging traits to embody and live out. This spring, I, I enjoy the time with my family as we sow a few seeds and for plants that'll come and hopefully have a nice little harvest at home from tomatoes to pumpkins. I have faith that those seeds are that you're sowing in your own life will provide a great return as you continue to grow into 
even greater young adults in our community. Remember Panthers, if you haven't heard it today, you are loved.